A man behind bars tonight accused of killing his mother's dog. Jessica Gill has more on the investigation and what neighbors are saying about the incident. It's a nice neighborhood, the Weston Hills neighborhood. Some might even call it a very dog friendly neighborhood. But what happened early Monday morning has many neighbors heartbroken. It's always sad when a dog is hurt. Joanne Houston has lived here for about 14 years now, and when she heard the news that a man, 33 year old Nathan Mayer, was accused of killing what many in the area say was his mother's dog, she was shocked. An investigation has revealed an eight year old German Shepherd mix named Shoes was not only beat repeatedly with a barbell, but stabbed multiple times after being chased throughout the house. We're told when investigators arrived, they located the dog deceased inside a white bag on that very deck in the back of the house. Not only for her neighborhood, Houston says that's devastating news. No matter where it is. Devastating for representatives with the Nebraska Humane Society, too. This dog died a slow, agonizing death. So we really do take this person when we hear about a situation like this. NHS now stopping at nothing to make sure Mayor is given the maximum penalty. We'll be working with the prosecutor on the uh, case to make sure that the judge finds out exactly what this guy did. Tonight, Mayor is being held here at the Douglas County Correctional Facility. He's being held without bond. We're, we're told he's being charged with animal or felony animal cruelty. So that basically means he could be facing up to five years in prison or a $10,000 fine. He could also be banned from owning any kind of animal for the next 15 years. Jessica, you wonder what led to this. Uh, is there a motive at this point? Not yet, John. According to NHS, they have no reason to believe that the dog was acting aggressively at the time. And according to several neighbors that I spoke with, Shoes, as the dog was named, was always very sweet around them. All right, thank you. That's Jessica Gill reporting live tonight.